has some basic ability cooldown reduction. We'll see what other kinds of abilities he wants to get. Perfect drag once again from Michael Udall. Airho will go down. Hook hit Fan. He is just fine with all of the self sustain that he it. has. Fan gets hit by the hook, which gives him in position to have the final blow. Granted, he was dead no matter what. Fan just walks in, throws the hammer down, drops the spray, and he's like, thanks for the kill. Now we're going to go ahead and take ourselves the very first Punisher. Looks like they are showing up. Watch for the hook. You don't want to be on that side. No, 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 no. Don't stand. Okay. Good. Hmm. We can't get the healing pulse as long as he does that. Interesting. Team Liquid, have they done it? Have they qualified for the Western Clash? Can they turn around and go towards the core? Oh, Nick, Nick dies in and Nick falls. There's only two people up. Esports. First blood for Trick and they immediately go for the Immortal. Chen is still at that bot lane on the other hand. And that's experience gathered and Dignitas misses out on an entire wave. But Nappa on the other hand, he goes down. Rega eliminated as Chen finally arrives at the scene. JPL is low though, trying to escape. Gets a shield from Tacita. Here comes <gasps> the stun circle. Immortal stuns out Greymane and Cross. Crosby and Greymane falls. Crosby gets the helping hand, but might still fall here. Goes down. Lee Ming annihilated. Great move by the Immortal. Ding toss. Uh, don't tell me you pee sitting on a toilet. I do actually. I talk about that on stream. It's so that I don't have to wash my hands. Too smart. And I don't have to wash my freaking toilet every. Every other day. <laughs> His nickname didn't become black. Getting the kills here, but at the same time, I have to say this was Knappe's game. Two kills against him on the Rega in the early game that were avoidable and then missing the oh-so-important Ancestral. And an easy Ancestral at that in a fight where they lose an initial target, they lose Greymane, they still get the double kill against Dignitas and then Knabbe just doesn't get the heal in. Not only we highlight how much of an impact he has on the positive side, but in this first game there were definitely a few hiccups in his play. Now they're down one match. I mean... I drove Hazorps around as he was 15 years old to LAN events in Warcraft 3. Then I've watched him uh, just dominate in Germany in particular with Warcraft 3, transition to StarCraft 2. And now when we're talking about heroes, I see him play the macro heroes oftentimes. And that's just a lot of fun. And this series deserves a fifth game, I feel. Well, let's see if we will go to game number five. Let's go ahead and start it up here. Towers of Doom, game number four. It's Team Expert versus Team... And Team Liquid couldn't do much here. Vala was low on mana. Here comes a big stun. We're going to be able to have a couple members low. Nurok finally will get picked off. Ilden also being taken out, but Nick... Looking for more here. Members low. Dark Mock in particular has low health here. Oh! Cursing goes for the fight, but he gets baited behind the tower. Great body block as well. And Bad Benny also slowed and gets a lot of extra damage. Hazorps actually tries to chase him here. So the camp that was taken did so much work. But this is actually... It wasn't too bad for Liquid. They're still seven points behind when it comes to core damage, but they are on level 13 now. Even experience. They might get the kill against ADRD. And they do. Greymane is down. Nick cannot get the resets. Man, and then you get this PM. Oh, Golan. Okay, never mind, guys. Forget it. Uh, yes, rule reading. Disregard anything I say and at all times. Debated. <laughs> so much debated. Last one, though. Dang it. I'm numero uno. Is that pretty cool, dude? I'm streaming right now. Is it okay? <laughs> Liquid has to do his buy time. They're buying time here. We have the Vikings looking on the left side and the right side. Hoswab's left alone. Kirsten's being body blocked by Olaf. And we're going to have the shots grabbed. Great play here. This is game. Liquid ties it up. He will get the Ancestry healing from his teammate. ADRD on the same time. Has used Mighty Gus. Experts going in for the engage. They've got Blumbilo. Cocoon is still ready. Cocoon is still there. Bad Benny is looking for it. Ethero also. 
Lumbi needs Lumbi. to be careful there. They go for Falsa. They're trying to get their kill, but Benny is looking for it. Here comes the mosh pit. No interrupt just in. There we go. Interrupted immediately. Cocoon is already bursted down, but Nick is extremely low. Tries to get away with Genjin. Barely escapes, but Kursen. Team Liquid, have they done it? Have they qualified for the Western Clash? Can they turn around and go towards the core? Oh, Nick, Nick dies in, and Nick falls. There's only two people up. Team Liquid, they're moving in. They're going for it. Bad Benny, is he going to be taken out too? No, but the core, it's taking damage. Bad Benny is alive, just barely. He heals up once again. Nick suicided in, but at the same time, the core is already falling. Team Liquid, they have two keeps down already, but they want to get the core. If they drop it here, then they have made it 30, happen. Then Dignitas would be out 20. of this event. 10. This is it. That's it. They've got it. GG. Team Liquid will win the series over. The warheads are ready for collection. Acknowledged. Another champion for the scourge. Our might cannot be managed. Double kill. Warhead collection oh, very impressive. Head to a healing fountain, quick. Wait till I'm done. Ems, Emily, she's always been a huge supporter of my stream, and I've been a big supporter of her stream, everything that she does. Fantastic woman. She is so much better than that stuck-up little cunt. And I love her for all time, and I'm so glad that now a lot a lot of people see that certain person to what she really is. And that, that makes me really happy. So fuck that person. Emily, all day long, love it. And you can send that to Emily. Kitten, uh uh, uh uh, no, no, no! Holy shit! He just knocked over everything on my desk because he was trying to eat my cupcake. No! Murky's on the floor right now. We fucking got this! Hey, I forced it! Hit the fucking car! Hit the fucking car! False dead! Something got it, GG. <laughs> oh my god. False dead AI with the carry. MVP. Depending on how the cards fall from the other series, but they are starting off so strong in this first game to prove that they have what it takes to land that 3-0 over no tomorrow. Roll20 takes out the first keep of the game. They have a four level lead, 20 to 16. They march on toward the core. There it is, Punisher has got the leap. There it goes, can they net a kill? Jason already falling so very low. Punisher, he's even trying to be the real MVP, locking it down. The shielding on the core is gone. We see a lot of damage.